10 Shocking Facts About The Lizzie McGuire Movie Number 1. Lelaine was offered to reprise her role as Miranda for the movie. Throughout the show's 65-episode run in the early 2000s, Lelaine was best known as Lizzie's BFF, Miranda Sanchez. Lelaine began to distance herself from Lizzie McGuire before the show's second season had even concluded. She was absent for six of the final episodes of the series, as well as the Lizzie McGuire movie in 2003. Lelaine's absence was explained by her character, Miranda, skipping graduation to visit her family in Mexico City. In reality, the network had double booked the young actress. Lelaine was also attempting to launch a music career at the time and was dragged into a series of Radio Disney concert tours, which kept her from filming the Lizzie McGuire movie with her castmates in Rome. Number 2. The Expense of Cheese In the movie, Paolo, played by Yanni Gelman, begins to tell her that she looks exactly like someone he knows named Isabella, and two teenage girls and one grown woman rush over screaming, Paolo, Isabella, as paparazzi take their pictures and the woman hands her a massive wheel of cheese. Turns out, the cheese is labelled Parmigiano Reggiano, a very expensive variety of Parmesan. Wheels typically weigh between 70 and 85 pounds and can cost up to $2,000. Number 3. Charles Martinet's Supposed Role In case you haven't heard his name, Charles Martinet is an American actor and voice actor best known for playing Mario and Luigi in the Super Mario video game series since 1992. He provides the voices for other characters in the series, including Wario and Waluigi. Martinet has become a well-known personality as Mario's voice and has made public appearances at several video game-related events where he meets fans for chats, photographs and autographs. Turns out, Marinette was considered for the role of Giorgio, the hotel clerk. Number 4. Claire Miller's Mystery Claire is Kate's new best friend and a cheerleader. Claire is far cuter than Kate. Gordo was also shown to have feelings for her. Claire can be tough on Kate at times, pressuring her not to become best friends with Lizzie and Miranda again. Claire, Kate and Larry also competed in and won the Factathlon. Claire is referred to as Clean Tween in the episode Dear Lizzie. Fans are surprised, however, that Claire is not seen or mentioned again in the Lizzie McGuire movie, despite how big her character was in the series. Number 5. The Second Show Aside from a film sequel, Disney planned a second show for ABC that would have focused on Lizzie's high school adventures. However, negotiations fell through just a month after the film's release, as confirmed by Hillary's mother, Susan Duff, to Entertainment Weekly. Disney expected to be able to bully us into accepting whatever offer they wanted to make, but they were wrong. We decided against a sequel. They turned down a franchise. Duff was also supposed to receive a $500,000 bonus if the film grossed $50 million. Number 6. Isabella Parigi's singing voice is by Hayley Duff, Hilary Duff's sister, dubbing over her sister's voice. The Lizzie McGuire Movie, a 2003 American teen comedy film that served as the finale of the Disney Channel television series of the same name, starred Hilary Duff as Lizzie McGuire and Isabella Parigi. Isabella Parigi's singing voice is provided by Hilary Duff's sister, Hayley. On the soundtrack, Hilary Duff's sister Hayley Duff and Yanni Gelman, who plays Paolo Valazari in the Lizzie McGuire Movie, perform the ballad version of What Dreams Are Made Of. Number 7. The Ebola Joke Mr. Escobar works at Hillridge Junior High School. Daniel Escobar, who died from diabetes in 2013, played him. Mr. Escobar is a drama and chorus teacher. He also oversees detention. In addition, he is the director of the school's graduation ceremony. However, one of his most iconic moments is when he makes a joke about the class president getting the Ebola virus. The first Ebola outbreak in the United States occurred 11 years after the film's release. Number 8. The actor who played Gordo in Lizzie McGuire is unrecognizable. The original cast had a reunion in 2015, but Gordo was nowhere to be found. Miranda and Matt showed their faces, but not Adam Lamberg. Following the conclusion of Lizzie McGuire, Adam appeared in a couple of small indie films, such as When Do We Eat and Beautiful Loser, but has largely disappeared from the public eye. Lamberg later deleted his social media accounts and retired from acting, and Google now autocorrects his name to Adam Lambert when you search him. Google has since corrected the awkward error, but Adam Lambert's successful pop career is nothing like Adam Lambert's life. He is living his best life, working for the Irish Arts Centre in New York. Number 9. According to Hilary Duff, she just played as herself in the film. Playing Lizzie McGuire was all about Hilary Duff being herself. In an interview with Bustle earlier this year, she revealed her special connection to the title character on the hit Disney Channel show. She says, I was too young to do a character dive on Lizzie. She then added, I think I was just playing myself, and I really related to that girl. She was me, and I was her, and that was that. 
Number 10. Why the series was cancelled Lizzie McGuire was cancelled because, in 1998, Disney Channel imposed a 65-episode rule on its shows, which stated that no show, no matter how popular, could exceed 65 episodes. Many fans were irritated by the rule because they had grown attached to their favorite shows, only to have them abruptly end. The rule was officially repealed in August 2004, when Disney ordered more episodes of That's So Raven, but Disney Channel shows still don't last more than four or five years. 